Valley, where inform Arsenal met inform Charlton and the champions were forced to dig deep to win. Here's Matt Holland looking to make an early impression. And it's Romadal. And Almunia got down well, but a lively start from Charlton. Action actually aided Van Persie and Vieira now arrives on the scene and Ljungberg he scores Freddy Ljungberg the football has hardly flowed from Arsenal today but they have the lead in this New Year derby obviously I think Charlton may have defended a little bit better I'm sure Alan Curvisley feels that Vieira doesn't have an angle to get a shot away here he checks out of it the ball in is slightly behind Ljungberg and Charlton just don't get to him quickly enough, don't quite squeeze him tightly enough here. And he has the room to spin and get the shot away. It's El Kakori! It is special! It is very special! It is very, very, very special! Ah, he's got no right to score from there, eh? That's an awesome effort. Arsenal don't do a lot wrong. Two come out to charge. Almunia is looking after that side of the goal, but he's beaten by the sheer pace, power and accuracy. That's a wonderful strike. Van Persie now. Here's Fabregas. Oh, here's Ljungberg. What a move and what a goal. Freddy Ljungberg scores again, and that had Arsenal stamped all over it. They are back in front. Build up play is terrific. Fabregas bombing forward for one of the rare times in the match he goes beyond the ball. El Kakuri doesn't get tight enough. And boy, did Ljungberg make the home side pay. That is a terrific finish. It's Henri, and it's off the line by Bartlett. Fortune trying to turn it away, but he nearly set up Van Persie. And Arsenal are gifted a goal. They are 3-1 up, and they are keeping Chelsea in sight. Well, the minute they allow this to bounce in, they're in trouble here. No one goes to attack this, and the minute it hits the ground, it's an awkward one to deal with. Two clearance across Van Persie's body. And once again, it's a top draw finish. Certainly wouldn't blame Dean Kiley there. Arsenal playing well. Six wins out of seven, mind you. They've got to be playing well. Went there with Chelsea going so well as well. Very much so, but it was a very, very good game. Charlton were unlucky yesterday. They played ever so well, but just didn't quite get the result. This guy as well, he's come back, he's had migraines, he's been ill, but Freddie Youngberg has, has been key for them, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, absolutely. Important player because he gets the goals. The only thing he would say, and, I, and I'm sure Alan Kirby should be saying it to, to Luke Young, show him down the line. When Patrick Vieira gets in that position, every Arsenal player plays the ball back across the face of the goal, don't they? So, Invite him to hit the left foot shot. Go on, invite him just to go to the byline and, and try and strike the ball at goal from that position. But they don't, they play it back. I mean, it, it's, it's a great turn from Freddie Longberg, but once again, I think Kerbs would look at his three centre backs and say, well, you know, maybe this one of you is going to get a challenge in, but let's take no credit away from that. Let's give Charlton credit as well. They've been in fantastic form themselves. And what about this fella, El Kakuri, who, 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 well, he's the top goal scorer now. And, and what about this free kick? Well, he's, he's produced this, hasn't he? Because uh, you wouldn't have put it down to him in the first place to be striking a ball from this distance. But obviously, he, he, he does it because he's lined up to take it. And doesn't he thump it? I mean, that's an absolute screamer. The only thing you would say, <laughs> and you know me, Rob, the whole time, could it have been avoided? The, the, the player in front on the end of the wall there is Ashley Cole. He's charging the ball down. I don't think he does too much wrong because the ball goes through his legs, but it's Cesc Fabregas who's stood on the 18-yard line, as you can see there. There's Ashley Cole. He's unlucky, Ashley Cole, because it goes through his legs. There we are. He's turned down. But look at Cesc Fabregas just turn his back out the way. I mean, 
that's incredible. Do you want to stop a goal? Do you want the opposition to score against you, or do you just want to do that and hope that your goalkeeper can save it? Would have hurt him now, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it may well have done. It may well have done. But I'm with Alan Kirbish on this. This has got to be offside. How they can allow this goal to have happened? It's one each. Anything can happen in the game. And when that ball goes forward, we can't see it initially. Van Persie picks it up. Great little touch here to Fabregas, and that's a brilliant back heel, isn't it? Great move. You have to say look great at, move. Oh, it's, it's one of the, you know one of the goals of the year already. Uh, but look at this. I mean, look at that defensive chart. They're all organised. They're all together. They leave Van Persie. They leave Henri. We're not seeing Henri's in an offside position because we've seen him do that before. He's on the opposite side of the play. The ball's not going to come to his side of the play. But Van Persie is on the side where the ball's going to go. So once this ball gets knocked forward, he's, he, he, as soon as he touches that ball, now the flag should go up. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. That's the rule, or supposed to be the rule. <laughs> is it, though? We'll try and clear it up when we get Mr Winston on later. Uh, but they carry on and, as you said, a fantastic strike after that. Van Persie added a third. Yeah, Jeff Winter will be along later on to try and clear up incidents like that. We've got absolutely bags to ask. First, shall we, Rob? Well, offside, this offside <coughs> thing, I think, of all, the, of all, the, of all the, the, the controversies in the game, this is the one that's confused us, Chris, hasn't it, in, in 2004? Yeah, it has indeed. I mean, I don't understand, Jeff, why... This is not giving us offside as soon as Van Persie gets the ball. We've already said, look at Henri down on the bottom right-hand side of your picture. We're not saying he should be offside because the ball doesn't go in his direction. But the ball goes to Van Persie's direction on that left-hand side. And the first player to touch the ball when it's played forward towards him, even though he's onside when he actually gets the ball, is that, that's got to be offside, Jeff, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You know, just like England captains miss penalties in World Cup games, then, you know, referees and assistants are human as well. And um, on that occasion, I, I believe that the offside should have been given when the ball... You know, what you're saying is incorrect. That's not the second phase or anything. That player's in an offside position, goes to go for the ball, and at that point, he should, in my opinion, he should have been flagged.